Okay, YouTube, it has been quite some time since I have done a Tadit's Mailbox episode, but we did get some packages in, and we will get them opened and see what we got. First one I got in was a uh, return to sender from an eBay purchase, so that doesn't pertain to the pickups, the trades, the exchanges, the gifts from you awesome guys. I also got in another package for a brand new phone battery. This is the old one. And man, it was really bubbled up in the middle. And uh, this kept me and prevented me from being able to record like I wanted to. I wasn't able to, uh, to walk around freely with my phone without carrying a external battery and having it plugged in all the time. It would die. Um, so, got that battery installed in my phone. We are good to go. Alright, so, first package comes from Mr. Justin in Waukesha, Wisconsin. And this was a trade between him and I. Um, I recently picked up a Nintendo Switch. Finally, thanks to YouTube, thanks to all of you guys. You'll see that in upcoming uh, in an upcoming episode, and you'll be able to see how much I got it for. It was an amazing deal. And uh, in that bundle, inside the Switch, was a game that I particularly did not care to have for the Switch or in my collection. And so I posted the game on a Facebook group that I'm in, and I said, Hey, well, would anybody be willing to trade for this game? And Mr. Justin pulled through. So I traded, <clears throat> excuse me, I traded uh, Skyrim for Mario Odyssey. I would much rather play Mario Odyssey than Skyrim. I've got a love-hate relationship for Skyrim. I'm sure it's amazing on the Switch, um, but it's just not something I ever, ever wish to play again. And, uh, but yeah. Came with a cartridge. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, my uh, my game was just cartridge only. I did have a blank switch case. He asked if it came with the cover art. I said, nah, man, you know, this is just how it came from the bundle that I purchased. I do have an empty switch case. I can send, send it to you in that. And he's like, no problem. I'll just print out the cover art. It won't be a big issue. So, um... Definitely, definitely cannot wait to start playing this. Uh, I have played my nephews from time to time, and I love the game. Got a package here from Limited Run Games, and got a notification that this was being mailed out. So let's take a look at what we've got. Very awesome. All right. We have got... Jack 3. Very cool. Um, does come with a collector's card as always. And there that is. And if you did not know, every once in a while, Limited Run will actually put the printing plate that they use to print these cards and it's metal and they will put it inside a random package. So every once in a while, if you order from this company, you might receive that printing plate. And there's, there's only one. And a buddy of mine recently received one. And you can fetch, if, I mean, if you don't want to keep it for your collection, you can fetch a good amount of money on eBay for that printing plate because there's only one becomes a very rare item. Um, it's the, the printing plate that is used to, to print the cards. And it's a very, very cool uh, little piece to have in your collection if you decide to keep it. And uh, definitely worth quite a bit of money if you decide to sell it. I do already have Jack, uh, the Precursor Legacy, and Jack 2. So this is the third Jack that I have picked up from Limited Run. They've got one more coming out, which is Jack X. It has not been announced when it's going on sale, but I will be uh, sure to fall in line to get a copy of that. 
Then I got in another package from Mr. Uh, David from Oakwood, Georgia. And I will show you what I'm trading him. I've not sent off his yet. I do like to uh, receive the packages first before I send them off. Um, he's after Xbox titles. Asked me if I had any that I'd be willing to part with. I said, yeah, I've got some doubles and I've got some stuff that are not exclusive to the system that I would be more than happy to get rid of. So we have Jane's Advanced Strike Fighters. And this is complete. We have the Simpsons Road Rage. And there's no manual for that. SSX3, no manual. Star Wars Battlefront, no manual. And the Incredible Hulk, no manual. We went off of uh, price charting values, and to even out the score, he went out. He went to my eBay and said, "Hey, would I throw this in as well?" I said, "Yeah, sure, no problem." So this is a, a Predator figure from Aliens vs. Predator from 1993. Found that at a yard sale, had it listed on eBay, had not sold yet, so he asked if I'd be willing to ship that as well. No problem. Alright, so on to the package. Let's see if I can back up and do this without shaking the camera. Um, these are all games I needed that I did not have. And uh, Mr. David hits me up from time to time on my Tata Collector Facebook page. And he finds stuff and asks if I ever need it. I'm very thankful that he does that for me. And I know what he's on the lookout for. He's, he's always wanting Xbox titles. Just random stuff that he doesn't have in his collection so right on the top we have got the newspaper from his area <laughs> I'm not sure if he just did that for padding but it's pretty much the entire uh, newspaper I don't know maybe there's an article in here he wants me to read I don't know that's very interesting there is a note and in the note it says, okay, here you go, the trade. And then he lists uh, Incredible Hulk, Simpsons Road Rage, SSX3, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, he says Catwoman, but I think he wanted the, uh, the figure instead of Catwoman. And then JASF, the Advanced Strike Fighters. Then he gives me his address. So I'm going to double check with him to make sure that he still wanted this figure instead of Catwoman. Alright, he's got everything nicely individually wrapped with newspaper. So the first one added to my collection is WWF WrestleMania Steel Cage Challenge. Did not have that. The next one is, and I love that it came with a Nintendo case. Um, I hold off on these, you know, I put these aside and I bundle them and sell them on in bulk on eBay. The last batch I think I sold 15, I think for 28 or 29 bucks might have been less than that it might have been like 12 but these Nintendo brand cases if you can find a bunch of them and bulk them and lot them together on eBay uh, you can sell them and they sell very quickly but we have got Gauntlet Tengen very nice and Let's see. 
the next I was excited to get this one because I used to play this as a kid and this is just really good fun that is Nark very nice Alright, next game we've got is Dick Tracy. Very cool. I've never played this, but I loved the movie growing up. Warren Beatty did a great job playing Dick Tracy. It was really well done. I thought the movie was really well done. I'm, I would love to see like a remake of that. That would be awesome. The next game... Nothing crazy, but a game I did not have, and that is Bill Elliott's NASCAR Challenge. Operation... What did I call it? Uh, the Nest Quest. Yes, Operation Nest Quest. Here we go. Dragon Spirit, the new legend. Another Bandai game. And the last one. Is. A. Uh, let's see who made this. Romstar. We got Championship Bowling. Very, very cool. So thank you very much, David. For hitting me up asking me if I needed any of these I definitely did thank you for uh, for the trade all right folks that is all I have got for you in this episode of Taz mailbox I hope you have had a fantastic Memorial Day if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon too so you get all notifications every time I upload new content and have a great week I know I will I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.